In this video I will show you how to share files and folders with other computers connected to your local area network using the Windows 7 operating system. I will show you how to set up a Windows workgroup and how to configure the new Windows 7 home group feature. Let's start by configuring a Windows workgroup. In this scenario I have two computers connected to my LAN. I have Joe's PC and Jane's PC. Jane has some files she would like to share with Joe, but first we must make sure that they are both part of the same workgroup. We can do that by clicking Start, right-clicking Computer, going to Properties, and we're looking for the Computer Name, Domain, and Workgroup settings. I can click Change Settings, and I can see here that Joe's PC is part of the Workgroup workgroup. By default, when Windows 7 installs, uh, if you don't choose a, a different workgroup to be placed in, it will automatically place you in the workgroup workgroup. Now I can change the name of this workgroup if I like. Uh, the only thing to remember here is that both computers have to have the same workgroup name and a reboot is required on both computers. Let's go ahead and make sure that Jane is also in the workgroup workgroup. and as we can see she is. Let's go ahead now and navigate to the folder that Jane would like to share. Jane would like to share this JShare folder so that Joe user can gain access to it remotely. Let's go ahead and right click this JShare folder and click on properties We'll go to the Sharing tab, and we'll click Share. Now, in order to share a file or folder uh, on a computer, um, we need to create a user account on that computer that other people can utilize uh, in order to gain access to that share. Uh, we can do that from the file sharing uh, box that we have here by clicking Create New User. And what this does is actually takes you to a page where you cannot create a new user. Uh, but if we go one more mouse click to manage another account, we'll be able to go ahead and create a new user. So let's go ahead and create a new user account on Jane's computer so that Joe can use it when accessing that folder. I'm going to make Joe a standard user since he's not going to be logging on to Jane's computer or making any important changes. I'm going to create this account. I also have to uh, give the Joe user account uh, a password in order to be able to access the shared folder. Now that the account's created on Jane's PC and it is password protected, we can go back to our sharing tab. And we'll see that Joe user account is now created. I'm going to add the Joe user account here. And notice that I can set some permissions for Joe. I can make it so that he can only view and read the files and folders. Uh, within that shared folder or I can make it so that he can also read and write make modifications to those files and save those changes. When we're done we click share. Windows will let you uh, email this shared link uh, to someone so that they can connect to it or you can copy it and paste it into another program to gain access to it. Once we're done, we'll click Close. Now we'll go over to uh, Joe's computer here. And we're going to click on Network. This will show all the computers connected to uh, my local area network. And here's Jane User's PC. I'm going to double click that. What it's going to do, it's going to ask me for a username and password. Uh, we are going to provide it with the username and password of the user account that we created on Jane's PC.
Now, Joe can click this Remember My Credentials so that every time he connects to the share, uh, he won't have to type in this username and password. As you can see now, I am viewing the files that the Jane user uh, PC is sharing out, and our JShare folder is there. We also have another folder called Users. Um, what happens in Windows is Windows automatically shares out, and I'll show you here on Jane's PC, this Users folder, and it allows you to get to this public folder also. This is a default share that uh, Windows uh, sets up for you, and Jane could place files and folders in this public folder, and uh, anyone who can connect to her computer remotely uh, with that username and password would be able to uh, view any of the files in here. Let's go ahead and look at this JShare folder. As you can see, I gave uh, Joe user read and write permissions, so Joe will be able to open uh, files in this share and would also be able to edit them and save the changes. And if we click on that same folder on Jane's computer, she'll be able to see those edited changes. She would also make, be able to make uh, changes to this file and save it. Now, what if Jane has uh, a file or a folder that uh, she would not like Joe to see, for instance, Jane's diary. Maybe she doesn't want Joe to uh, be able to view and modify her diary. Uh, what we can do is we can click on this file, and we can click the Share With uh, tab here, and we can click Nobody. And what that does is it makes it so that uh, Joe won't see that file uh, being shared out and uh, he won't be able to view it or make any changes to it.